Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Peloponnesian War. Sparta lay siege to Athens, hoping to end this war once and for all and live in peace. Well, until Philip of Macedon shows up, am I, am I right? But yes, we're playing Total War Rome 2. This is a 3 vs 3 siege battle. I will be joining the Spartans. I know, it's kind of disgraceful. I am a huge Athens supporter, but... You know, my, my allies here wanted to go as Sparta, so I bring shame to my family. No, I'm actually really happy to play Sparta. I don't get to play them enough, and they're a really interesting faction. Uh, so yeah, we have three, uh, like I said, three versus three. We have Mr. Brunswick, and then we have my force right here supporting his advance. We also have Nico, who has a very challenging task of attacking a wall by himself. So uh, we're going to see how he does here against the very tough... Athenian defense. I'm really excited about this because um, We're gonna give you the best show possible because the thing about Sparta is that they're not the greatest in attacking uh, They lack a lot of sword very fast like glass cannon type units very fast, you know high damage They're very slow. They're very defensive with the hoplites and the pikes uh, so they're tricky, so we're going to do the best we can here and give you the best show possible. Just give them hell, you know? That's that's at least, you know, the least we could do. Anyways, let's do normal speed. So it starts off here with the Athenians sending out some cav. And these are no simple-minded cav. This is the Hippias Lancers. Uh, very deadly. And if you see, they're actually taking casualties. And that's from the t arrow towers. If you look in the background, there's ballistas up there and they're firing at them. They're not very good. They miss most of their shots. So I think one of them landed. Uh, but we were able to contain the cab there. I do appreciate the aggressive play by the Athenians here. Trying to get maybe a lucky hit. I think he was going for my catapults or onager. Uh, but we're not going to let that happen. So what's the strategy going into this one? Well, the strategy is to break down as many breaches in the wall as possible. That's why we have two tortoises here, and we both are bringing artillery. We're going to try to bring down at least four spots in the wall to... Um, the, okay, so the reason we want to do that is because hoplites fight way better in open areas or, you know, tight... When I mean open, I don't mean they fight better on the ground. That's what I should say. Because obviously they fight well in tight areas. Uh, but they fight better on the ground, not on the walls. So we wanted to try to avoid that as much as possible. Make as many breaches and charge through to bring down the Athenian scum. Uh, let's go over here where Nico is already scaling the walls like a mad man. He is already... What has he got here? He's got the, the cheap, pure Koi Spears. I slaughtered that name. I, I don't know. I used to say that all the time. Whatever. Uh, but they're charging the walls. Uh, not a bad idea to send the lesser troops here. He's also got some more pikes up this way as well. Uh, but it's going to be a tough fight. And I honestly thought Nico... Well, I told Nico to try kind of take this slow. I didn't want him to attack right away. Uh, I, what I told him like pre-battle is like, hey, go really slow. Try to distract as many Athenians over here as possible. That way they, you know, that way they can't beat you really quickly and send reinforcements over to our fight. Uh, but he's already going in, man. He is in this fight. It's so badass seeing Athens and Sparta duke it out. Just classic Greek factions here. Really awesome. Uh, but when I looked over and saw that he was already committing, you really can't back away now. You've got to go all in. And that's what it looks like Nico's doing here. Sending in the Spartan Hoplites. And he's got, um, let's see, what has he got? He's got more Spartan Hoplites coming up. So he's definitely sending in more of his elite forces to try to overwhelm. And he's doing the right thing. He's got as many, many towers uh, trying to take these walls. I just wish that he brought a breach down, which he did right here, which is great. So he can use this, but he does have uh, some Athenian archers, some uh, Cretan archers here ready to embrace them with arrows. Let's go back over to the other side, see how things are going. It's going really slow here. Again, guys, because we want to um, open up as many breach points as possible. Uh, Brunswick is already opening up a breach point. So our plan here, we're going to put a breach point here. A breach point here and then the two tortoises are gonna open up this wall over here so those are the four spots and we're hoping that that will stretch the defenders as thin as possible and we can uh, you know really push in our pikes and our hoplites uh, going into this battle there we go the walls are crumbling 
Also, the rules for this battle, uh, it was max four ranged, max two pikes, and max one artillery. That's usually the standard rules we play with. Um, yeah, they seem pretty fair. Not necessarily fair to the eastern factions because they rely heavily on like archers and whatnot. But most of the time, we're playing as the Greeks or bar bar or geez, words are hard, barbarians or um, Romans. Uh, so yeah, even but even with the eastern factions, it's still pretty solid rules. But whatever. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Nico here is taking some fantastic ground. He's secured this entire area of the wall. The only thing I'm concerned about are archers, which he does have some archers down here. He, oh, oh my god, what the heck? Is there Spartans on, look at these bold, this is such a Spartan thing to do. Like, come on, there's their general, let's charge him. This is our chance, we can kill, we can chop off the serpent's head. You know, like this is their chance to go in and look at him. If thankfully the, oh. Uh, but he dies a Spartan hero. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is silly. I, I, thankfully, they're fighting him one at a time. Thank you, Rome 2 engine. Really appreciate that. But there we go. Is he running now? I don't know. But uh, that was a bold move by those Spartans for sure. And Nico's battle has really just begun. He's making some... I'm actually really impressed. I did not expect to see these Spartans clear up these walls so quickly and so efficiently. But... He's got to get down the walls, and that's going to be another challenging task. He also has to get through some more Athenian Thorax swordsmen. Again, Athens have swords. Sparta does not. No swords to be seen. Uh, so now our tortoises are getting to the wall. This is a risky move because these tortoise machines here... Uh, I don't know why I sounded cur like Kermit the Frog there. The, tur the tortoise machines here. Anyways, the tortoise machines... Oh my god. They are glitchy, and sometimes... They do not uh, work. Sometimes they open up the wall a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes you can't even push them forward. But so far, it looks like it's working. Yes, it is still working. Thank the Lord. Thank Ares, as I'm sure Spartans would worship. Uh, but yeah, we knocked down that section. There we go. Here comes my, uh, my ram is going at it as well. I mean, it's kind of weird that a machine like this would knock down such a strong wall, but... It saves a lot of ammo trying to use, you know, artillery and stuff. Boom! Look at that. Bye-bye, walls. And look at this. He's already pushing in his hoplites. We've got reinforcements coming in. I'm sitting in my two pikes. I really wanted to use my pikes in these breach points. Try to support them wherever I could. Um, but, yeah, my pikes moving forward. And um, getting ready to uh, bring out their long pikes and bring death to the enemy. Uh, so this is really cool. Brunswick is the first to charge in. He is the first to bring down the wall over on this side. And he's got him surrounded. You see, he's trying to surround him with these pikes and hoplites. What does Brunswick do? He's like, nah, I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to run up here and capture this tower. That's perfectly fine with me. Now, he does close in here with hoplites and kind of stops him from doing that. But he still has enough troops up here to capture it. Uh, so that was a huge move there. I thought that was really clever by uh, Brunswick there. I've got my troops, but I'm kind of waiting because I don't want to charge into pikes. So I'm moving up archers to deal with these pikemen. Let's go over to Nico's side again and see how things are progressing. It's just a madhouse over here. Look at this. We still have Thorax swords. It's, you can't even tell what the heck's going on. How did... Yeah, look at... He's got hoplites and Thorax against the Spartan hoplites. He even has some archers up here. But hey, this is great. Uh, Nico's going to be able to... Uh, crush these uh, mercenary archers very expensive archers. I'm not sure why he has them in close range might have been a misclick there uh, But I'm not too sure and they're gonna go ahead and retreat uh, But yeah, well done here by the heroes of Sparta very very deadly unit very badass unit uh, Now he's gonna close in and try to surround these uh, Athenians and he's doing a good job But look at this Athens is doing a sally out. We have Hippias Lancers. We've got Thorax Swordsmen charging out with a couple more units and they're taking on the Spartan pikemen who have been harassed by archers all day and that's why their numbers are so thin but the swordsmen are going to try to close in the gap here and surround these uh, these pikemen and look at this this is such a bold move on their part very excellent excellent play so let's do some slow motion here I know I don't do slow motion too much in Rome 2 but there's a lot going on in this battle I, I want to make sure I cover it all so back over here 
we are I'm sending in my pikes to counter their pikes my archers are now firing going after whatever they can see through this breach trying to soften up their numbers as much as possible I've sent in more Spartan hoplites to support my ally pushing into here as well the pikes quite haven't engaged us yet they're closing in though as you see them inching forward the Athenian pikemen uh, trying to kill my Spartan hoplites from afar, uh, which they are. I've got another pike unit pushing forward, going through the breach as well. So I don't think uh, Brunswick brought any pikes, so I'm trying to be the anti-pike anti guy. Oh my god, look at this. I mean, it doesn't get any better. Seeing, seeing Spartans charge over here and kill these Athenians, man. That's nice. So let's go ahead and go back to normal speed as my pikes go into this fight. Oh, look at this. This is just a pure... Pike on pike action. Archers now firing like crazy, trying to do as much damage as possible. Now over here, this is pretty clever. Again, slow motion. Really sorry, guys, but I want to explain everything. I have I have units going to this wall. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to send over support over to help Nico. I see that there's some archers out of position here so that I can maybe surprise if he's not paying attention. So I'm moving my uh, Spartan hoplites, which look, guys, by the way, look at these guys. Let's just take a moment to admire the Spartans, as they are one of the most professional and deadly units of this time period. Very cool. Uh, very awesome to see them virtually on the battlefield. I'm also sending a unit over here because if you look here, if we do normal speed, we're going to use this tower, right? And we're going to send archers up on this wall. I'm going to use this Spartan Hoplite unit to protect this area so they can't charge, the, you know, they can't rush up these, these stairs and get our archers. So we're going to try to set up some archers up on this wall and support the fight. The, the, the trench warfare, so to speak, down in the trenches of this epic fight between Spartans and Athenians. So awesome. I had to retreat my pikes. Look at them. They got crushed. I think it's just the weird terrain and maybe some friendly fire, but my archers are doing some work. They're doing God's work. Uh, these helot archers, the slaves here, firing down and crushing these pikemen. Look at them. They're losing men fast. They're down to 80 men. I'm happy to see these men die a painful death. All right, let's go back over here um, uh, to see how things are going with the sally out. My God, look at all the Athenians over here. They must have sally out over here as well. I, th I think they did. They even retreated the archers. Unfortunately, the surprise attack did not ha uh, work, but I am going to capture this arrow tower. But yeah, they've completely sallied out, and they are now surrounding... Oh my god, this is badass. This looks so cool. They are now surrounding the Spartans. Uh, the Spartan general is now fighting for his life over here as the bold Athenians caught the Spartans off guard and sally out a force to be reckoned with. Very cool. Very cool tactic. It's something you don't see a lot in these battles. Oftentimes, it's not smart for the defenders to sally out. But so far from what I, what I see here is that Nico committed a lot of his forces to these walls and kind of left his general uh, behind, uh, it, which you can't blame him. But uh, because of that, the Athenians are able to hold the walls with minimal troops and send out the rest of his forces to deal with the general. So his general is fighting back to back like a true Spartan warrior. He's like, you Athenian scum, I may die today, but the gods will greet me. I guess. I don't know. But yeah, they're, they're, they're surrounded. I was trying to send over my calf. So I have my calf over here that you saw earlier, the citizen calf. But I noticed that, unfortunately, the Athenians are protecting that fight with his lancers and there's no way I can match his lancers. We also have a general that's near dead. Nico got very close to killing him. Uh, you know, he, he was in the thick of the fight, this, uh, this general here, but he just was able to escape um, that battle. Uh, so let's go back over here and see how this is progressing. So I was able to get my spears off of here and charge down the stairway. Unfortunately, they're looking the wrong way. <laughs> so that's not good. Uh, the micro was surprisingly really intense in this fight uh, because there was so much going on uh, with it. There was small details going on. Look at this. The Athenians are trying to sally out over here as well. I'm holding them back with my depleted pikemen. We're going to try to hold them back as long as possible. My archers are trying to support there and kill these hoplites. But look at them. What are my pikes doing, man? That is so glitchy. Look at the pikes. They're just like overlapping. What? But we're trying to hold as long as possible, and at the same time, I'm trying to support Brunswick over here. My troops, heroes of Sparta. Very, very big mistake here on my part. 
Do not send Heroes of Sparta alone like this to sit at the wall and get shot at by arrow towers. Uh, Brunswick has some forces over here trying to support the fight and keep the Athenians distracted. And that's basically what I'm doing. But why? Why would I use the Heroes of Sparta as a diversion unit? Uh, big mistake there, and I think it's just because of the craziness of the battle is focusing on so many parts I wasn't paying attention. My guys are still looking the wrong way. I, I cringe every time I see that. I hate it. Uh, the Spartan general still fighting for his life. So awesome. I love it, man. Spartans, even if you surround them, they will still fight for a long time. Now, if you don't surround them and you're fighting them head on, good luck. Good luck. Look at these Spartans covered in blood. This is what they live for. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Misclick there. They don't care about uh, dying. This is what they want. A warrior's death. A warrior's death. Yeah, I actually uh, misclicked. I was taking some screenshots, and I misclicked and hit the record button again, so it stopped the re recording, but that's all right. We're back at it. <laughs> He's got more Spartans up here fighting for these walls, but it's not really going to matter because Nico's army has almost been wiped out by these Athenians. At this point, we were telling Nico, hey, that's okay, man. Just kill as many as you can and keep them distracted as long as possible because we were trying to make um, headway over here. We we're trying to make some, you know, some progress. The fact that we've kind of broken through over here and that we have Spartans in the open ground fighting, that's what we want. The walls was the walls were the, our biggest obstacle, literally and metaphorically and all kinds of like glee. Uh, we had to get through these walls because Spartans aren't great at fighting in the walls, but if they can get through and fight in a choke point situation kind of like this, this is where they're going to excel. But we still have a long way to go. The Athenians are still have plenty of reserves. Uh, Brunswick now sending over forces this way as well, taking on these hoplites. He's got some Spartan hoplites. They should beat them. Uh, and I sent in my... Ugh, this was bad. This was this was stupid of me. It, okay, so it wasn't necessarily my fault. It was a pathfinding issue. I actually sent these heroes to Sparta. Or I told them to go up on this wall and uh, use the siege tower, right? Nope. They're just going to charge through the breach point because that's easier. You know, that's easier for the, the troops, I suppose. And now they're getting surrounded by the Athenians who once again are sallying out and causing many casualties many many casualties but this is an epic fight over here i love it man just trying to get a cool angle of this struggle i love the spartan symbols on the shield so awesome so even though my heroes of sparta are surrounded they will fight uh, because they are very they're a very good unit they're so good that they max them out at two my pikes are in the thick of the fight. We're trying to make some headway here. Look at the amount of arrows flying into my archers. So the defenders did a really good job uh, using their archers last minute. Kind of like reserve force. You know, they had them as a reserve force. And every time, every single time I got my archers near this wall to support. Look at this. Just red. And I'm not talking from the blood. I'm talking from the clothing. These are all brave Spartans who got, well, they're slaves, but they got butchered by the enemy archers. Uh, really tragic. Now, it's not a huge loss because I am more than confident in the Spartan infantry to, de to defeat the Athenian infantry. And if the Athenian archers waste their ammo on my archers instead of my infantry, I still consider that a win. It was just tragic to see so much death. Uh, I still have some reserves over here. Um, oh, dang it, guys. We missed it. There's, you know, guys, there's just so much going on in this battle. Let me explain what happened over here. So you see there's a little fight going on. Uh, I charged his cav with my citizen cap because I had this spear unit nearby, right? And we charged in, and we actually killed his general, the general that was leading this army, which is huge because he still has a force. I don't know why he sent in his general. I really wish I captured that. Really unfortunate, but there was the fight. This is where we killed the general right here. And now this Athenian army is without a general. So that's going to be huge, and hopefully that will help us out later on in this battle. So let's go back to normal speed here, guys, and see these Thorax swordsmen hold against the hoplites. Spartan hoplites, to be exact. So awesome. 
Spartans hold! The Pikes are in the fight. He actually made a nice maneuver here with his Thorax, thorax Swords. He went around a little gap and he's now behind our forces and causing a lot of damage. I'm having to quickly send over reinforcements. I'm even sending in archers who used up all their ammo because look at they're breaking our forces in the gap. And look at the balance of power. If you notice the balance of power in the beginning of the video, it was either dead even or slightly in favor of them, which is not a good sight when you're attacking. So there we go, guys, sending in the rest of my forces. And look at this. Let's do some slow motion epic. Like this is like some three, like the 300 movie right here, but realistic, you know, uniforms and whatnot. Um, but yeah, let's slow motion combat. We even have, look at these Athenians cheering because they see my Spartans breaking. But look behind you, you fools. Look at all the angry Spartans here, ready to crush your lives, your skulls. Uh, over here, I've actually committed my general. Yeah. That's how desperate I was getting. I was like, we need to break through here. If we can break through here, anything can happen. There's always a chance. Even though the bounce of power is... Look at the bounce of power. Look at that. Just terrible. And this is just showing, guys, how difficult it is to attack with Sparta. And really, right now, at this point, guys, we're just trying to put up the best fight possible. Now we got some Royal Spartans over here. I think this is... Yeah, this is Brunswick's general uh, trying to take on the Militia Hoplites. He's got some Athenians outside the city. Um, so yeah, I think the Athenians over here, they completely crushed Nico. So now they're going to march over and yep, that's right. Reinforcements are joining over on this side. Very troubling times, especially since we're breaking over here. I had to commit my general into this fight. It's just not going smoothly and it's not going to plan. But eh, we're going to do the best we can, you know? We're going to do the best we can. Get our archers in there. Maybe we can get a chain route. I, I, you know, we're just gonna put up a fight like Spartans do. That's, that's at the very, you know, that's the very least we could do. Just give them hell and make them work for this city, uh, and that's what we're gonna try. So yeah, we've got the thorax swordsmen taking on the Spartan hoplites. Still, it's been a real brutal battle, really difficult fight. Uh, I had some Spartan hoplites up here. I went ahead and sent them uh, down here. More reinforcements. Just trying to over overwhelm his numbers. We're getting close. We're getting very close. More Spartans are breaking through. Look at this. Because of this gap. Again, let me do some slow motion. Because there's some intense tactics going on here. Uh, we've broken through this breach point. My general has been kicking ass. The general unit for the Spartan is so good so i'm really glad i i finally decided to send him in again it was a desperate act to send in my general already but i'm really glad he he's in the fight because he's doing some work right now so it opened up a nice spot here uh great job here by brunswick keeping the athenians occupied so they can't send over reinforcements over to that other fight you were just looking at again guys this was this is our this is our best hope right here, winning in this section. We win here, we can charge the town center, uh, which is right here. I think that's our best bet of winning, of just you know capturing the town center and holding it for like five minutes or whatever. I think that's the best choice uh, considering the bounce of power. Because look at that. It's like 25 to 75%, maybe 30 to 70. You know, it's not looking good. So now we've got... Some Athenians charging in, trying to surround or take on these hoplites and prevent them from surrounding us. This is a very crucial moment right here. Citizen Cav charging into the base. This was our chance, guys, to get some revenge. And this is an excellent move by Mr. Brunswick. He is able to sneak by, squeeze by these Athenians who are just sending everything they've got to stop this Cav. But the Cav keeps moving forward. Let's go see what happens here. The Cav pushing through the streets, looking for vulnerable targets, looking, sniffing, and hunting for those Athenian archers to, to seek revenge, to, to get revenge of all of our fallen brothers and slaves because of the hell at archers, but trying to get revenge for the fallen Spartans uh, and crush these archers. And what's this? Oh, yes. That's right. The archers are still in this area. The Cav starting to rev up their engines look at all the archers open for attack and they charge in and crush these guys yes so okay let me get out of this view let me uh slow motion here this is the most crucial point of the, uh, point of the battle we are breaking his units here before reinforcements can arrive look at they're just now appearing 
and we are now going to be able to kill their archers in close range. These archers, I'm pretty sure, still had ammo. Regardless, these guys are good in melee, and the fact that we've got them surrounded is perfect. So now we're trying to send as many units as possible over here to hold the enemy. Our only chance of winning this battle is to hold them back here. Hold back the Athenians and... Because look at this. This is like Thermo Thermopylae Pass, Hell Gates here. This is the pass here. We must hold. We must defeat the Athenians here. And we must do it right now. Now even Brunswick. Let's go back to normal speed. Brunswick setting up heroes of Sparta. Helping uh, my Spartan hoplites who are outnumbered but not outmatched. There we go. Here comes the heroes of Sparta. Certainly arriving like heroes. Uh, the cav is crushing. Look, at we're breaking the archers here. More and more infantry is arriving. But, I mean, again, guys, at this point, we still need a miracle. We need an absolute miracle. My general now charging in. My general has, like, debuff abilities. So, I'm trying to scare the Athenians, trying to get them to break. Uh, just, they won't budge. These Athenians have excellent morale. These are picked hoplites, though. That's That could be the reason why. Uh, see, I used the uh, intimidate ability, not breaking them. But it is breaking this unit, which is great. I'm trying to free more units because we need more units. This, we're trying to uh, have a choke point here, hold back, you know, more numbers than us. But we don't have the men. We don't have the freed, the freed up, freed up? Is that the right term? We don't have the free units in reserve to send up here and hold back these guys. We must quickly defeat them. If there's any chance of us breaking through and capturing the town center and winning through capturing, because we're not going to win through fighting. There's no way. Look at the balance of power. It's not going to happen. So we've got to break through here as quickly as possible before these Athenians arrive to reinforce uh, the battle. Uh, now Brunswick is sending as many slow uh, sl uh, speed bumps, I should say, as possible, trying to slow down these Athenians over here, trying to hold them back. Over on this side, I can't believe it, but we're holding back these Athenians, and we are crushing these guys over here. We're breaking them, and we've got to send more, because look at this right here. More troops are trying to use the gaps in this fight. We've got to send more troops to stop that, or this is all going to be a disaster. And that will for sure be the nail in the coffin for us. So we're now we're sending over. I've got my general, my royal Spartans, uh, headed over this way, trying to stop the flank. I'm trying to set up my troops as well, trying to get them in hoplite formation. There they go. March, men, march. Oh, oh. Most of those, sh is that, was that arrows right there? Or is that like Javi? Doesn't matter, but my, sh yeah, it was Javi's from the thorax. They, they didn't kill any Spartans there. Those shields stopped all those projectiles. And now my general has the honor of defending this flank. We've got more troops from Brunswick. Another unit of heroes of Sparta protecting this flank. Archers now firing at the reserves. Picked hoplites. They're not going to do a lot of damage, but at least we're keeping them on their toes. And we have secured this area, guys. This is huge. And look at this. Slow motion. We've got a unit. This is very clever. Using column formation. Try to sneak by. Nope. I've got some Spartan hoplites just in time. Just in time to stop these guys. So you can tell this battle is getting very intense. The balance of power still greatly in favor of the defenders. But we're doing everything in our power to turn this battle around. The, the heroes here fighting their hearts out. Heroes of Sparta. Look how badass they are, though. Look. Oh, and the arrows flying overhead. That was a beautiful shot. I got to get that again. We got to wait for the next volley. Look at the heroes of Sparta, man. Look at them. God. They. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. That is sick. Very cool. Very cool uniforms. But, yeah, my troops are starting to break, but that's okay. As soon as they're breaking, we've got fresh troops. They're not. Well, they're not fresh, but we got... Freed up units. I said it again. Units in reserve. I'm able to send forward and continue to hold this line. More reinforcements, man. Do not break. Do not fear. We will plant seeds of fear in their minds and watch it grow. Yeah, we're, yeah. They're pushing hard, guys, and we're pushing right back. Every time it seems like they've gonna, they're gonna break through. We've got a unit that just barely made it. You know, a unit that just barely defeated a unit over here that was able to show up and plug the spot. And this is what Spartans do best: they hold choke points. They take on these Athenians using hoplite formation, phalanx formation, and they're going to, um, 
definitely excel over here. There is an opening in the center. This is really huge. He's now using his archers to charge the center, and he's got a general closing in through the gap. My general is getting surrounded. I had to retreat my general to try to prevent that, which it doesn't work out too nicely. I unfortunately, I unfortunately lose many, many uh, bodyguard there trying to fall back like that, and I just have to commit and hope for the best. And just things like hoplite formation's gone now. It's just a mess. It's a brawl over on this side of the flank. And they've got my general surrounded. So my general is surrounded like Nico's general, and all he can really do is fight. Just fight to the bitter end. I have some archers, like 20 archers, kind of firing in the backs of the uh, Athenian general. Again, killing generals is going to be huge here. We've got one unit of pikemen. So Brunswick actually does have some pikemen, uh, but he's using this pikemen very wisely, preventing any Athenian reinforcements. And this is it, guys. I mean, we're still, still losing this fight. It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to capture that, that capture point. It seems like they've got it under control. So the only thing we can hope for now, and it's, it's, a, it's a really just, it's a shot in the dark, but we've got to kill their generals. That's, that's what it comes down to. We're not going to defeat these guys. Like, look at the bounce of power. They, they out, they, their power is stronger than ours. And we've got to defeat their, um, their generals. My general, even though surrounded, still breaking these Athenians. He's still breaking these Athenians. Sure, he's very greatly depleted. But now he can kind of turn. Well, they recovered, unfortunately. But he can kind of turn and focus on the on the Athenian general on Thorax Swords. I've I've uh, peeled off some Spartan hoplites to go after the mercenary archers here that charge to the center. And look at this. This is just getting really, really messy. And now I'm going to use this unit and surround the Athenian general, which is the Thorax hoplites. There we go. Surround the general. Support our general. He must live. Now we have the Athenian general surrounded, which is great. Fantastic. And okay, so, okay, let me slow motion. This is another big moment. Very wisely, the Athenians, uh, I mean, when I saw this, I, my heart sank because uh, I was very disheartened by this. But he has sallied out troops and now using the siege towers that was ours against us. Very smart play by the Athenians. And that's going to make it very difficult because now we're surrounded. Not only do we have to defend here, we got to defend over here and over here. And what does Brunswick do? The man is a madman. The man is a madman. He's now falling back his, his pikemen. He's, and when I say he's a madman, he's just he's really good with Sparta. He's really good at Rome too. And he does the right move here. He's falling back his pikes because now we can defend less. We're going to tighten up our formation. He's got his general protecting the stairway. You see that? Now we're defending everything once again. My general brutally fighting to the end. Unfortunately, his days are numbered. <laughs> his, his minutes are numbered. I think my general died here, uh, tragically. And that is it for my general. At this point, I only have one unit, and I'm sending him right to the center. This is my... It's the Spartan Hoplites, and they're going to hold the center as long as possible. Really tragic, but unfortunately... Oh, wait, no, I'm following them back. Oh, that's because I'm flanking... I'm flanking the Athenian general again. I'm like, screw this guy. He must die. He must. So we're trying to hold the best we can. His hoplites up here are not making this easy. And, the, oh, we're falling back again. But the pikes are messing up here a little bit. And now we have Athenian pikes. They still have two units of pikes. And you can see the balance of power still not looking good, guys. I mean, at this point in the battle, if we still can't shift the balance of power, I don't know if we can take this one. I just, it seems hopeless. Oh, that was a good stab, though. Athens, just too many troops. Sparta, not a great attacking faction. You know, in the comments, I, I hear it all the time that for this, for sieges to be fair, the attackers need to outnumber the defenders in Rome too. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe we do, like, maybe we needed a fourth Spartan army. Maybe. Just maybe. But the pikes, yep. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, the pikes are breaking here. They're surrounded. Not good. Not good at all. But the, they've broken through. Our defensive position has been compromised. Uh, the Athenian, or the Spartan general, now fighting on two fronts as well. It's looking really bad. It's looking really bad. 
Spartan Hoplites going toe to toe with Picked Hoplites. Pretty sure the Picked Hoplites are a little bit better there. Um, but the Picked Hop, uh, this is the general. This is the general, keep that in mind. We have the other general over here, who's very depleted, down to, well, actually, no, he's not de very, he's, he still has 96 men. Yeah, it's looking really bad, guy. This is all that Sparta had. Look at this, Athens is about to run amok. Uh, we just couldn't hold, you know, we just couldn't hold. Uh, they broke through the, the choke points. Uh, our, our flank is compromised. Look, they're sending in a general now to support this fight which is already look they're about to surround these this uh heroes of sparta it's looking really bad so yeah we definitely tried here this was our best attempt look at the sliding that is so disgusting i hate that in rome too uh this was our best attempt uh sparta is very difficult very very difficult to attack on um they just don't have very good attacking units uh, and that might be why you know we really struggled here um, but w hold on. Wait, what is this? Wait, do we have a unit breaking? Oh, that's pretty good. 55 men here. Um, I, I doubt it's going to change anything. Uh, because the general still has... The Athenian general still has 85 men. The heroes of heroes of Sparta is 57. And they're surrounded. They're still surrounded. So the heroes of Sparta, yes, they're tough. But, I mean, even the toughest units cannot withstand being surrounded we also have some athenian hoplites and 97 of them taking on the 68 heroes of sparta but wait well, hold on what is this over here oh my god this now now brunswick's general has been surrounded all spartan generals have been surrounded but seems like these spartans are kind of fighting their way out of this he's killing some uh picked hoplites they're starting to waver wait hold on a second the spartans now have the athenian general surrounded in fact, the balance of power is shifting back in favor of the Spartans. And the Spartans just might be able to turn this battle around. And sure enough, look at this. Oh, now the pike. Well, okay, maybe not. The pikes are closing in. It looks like there's nowhere to go for these. Yeah, that's not good. Look at this. Not good at all. Seems like the pikes have the general surrounded. It looks like the uh, Athenian generals' numbers are are um, are you know well they're they're let me rephrase that the Athenian general's time is numbered uh, because he is surrounded. But oh nice nice little flanking move there again by the Athenian general. It's probably a smart move there, and that's probably going to be the nail in the coffin. But wait, the heroes of Sparta are not done yet, and they charge the last remaining Athenian general. And if we could kill him, we might just be able to pull off a victory here. But the but the Spartan general must hold. He must hold if they want any chance of... T oh, my God. The Athenian general is breaking. He is breaking. And this seems to be the end of that general. Oh, wait. No, there's still another Athenian general. But the, that general has perished. He is gone. And, oh, my God. The balance of power is back in... or. For once in the game, in favor of the Spartans, all the Spartans have to do is not lose their general, and I think we will take this one. The Spartan force has taken Athens, and nothing will stand in their way. There's no way Athens can turn this one around. And this has been one hell of a battle. You know, some people say you can't take over cities. If it's even numbers, 3 versus 3, 4 versus 4, whatever. Uh, some people say Sparta's not a good attacking force. Ah, ah, I spit at you. Costly victory, but it's a victory nonetheless. And the chaos, the battle that went down over here was insane and so intense, so exciting. And I highly recommend, guys, first off, if you enjoyed this video, check out Mr. Brunswick, uh, his channel linked in the video description. He has his, he's going to be uploading this, this battle as well. So please check out his perspective. He was the hero of the day. I will show you why. Also, um, you can watch this battle live on my Facebook page. That's also linked in the video description. Highly recommend you do that as well because it was so exciting live. You, you get to, you get to see the behind the scenes strategy, the frustration, the lows, the highs. It's really fun. So definitely check that out and let's end the replay Whew, what a struggle 
that was that was a very very exciting game and i want to give a big big gg to our opponents here who put up an excellent fight look at look at brunswick here 2300 kills Woo! that's insane he knows how to play sparta and he did a very very good job very wise decisions very excellent player um so i came in second with kills on my team uh getting 1600 who did best for me uh, I think the Spartan Hoplites, pretty decent numbers there, except for you. Pikes, not great. Wanted them to do more. My general did fantastic. Could have been better. My archers really suffered. Especially, I got these mercenary. They're very expensive. Only seven kills. Waste of money. Didn't use them wisely. 557 kills with the Heroes of Sparta. Wow. He does have a unit that got zero kills. That's kind of surprising. But his archers did pretty solid there. But yeah, it's that one unit of Heroes of Sparta that just wrecked. Uh, Nico did good with the Heroes of Sparta as well. Uh, his Hoplites did well over here. His, his Pikes did pretty decent as well. So, good job by Nico. I mean, Nico, he's a newer player, so I can't blame him for losing his army so early. He took on a wall all by him, all by himself, and I think he did a great job. Uh, but here's the other kills for the Athenians. So, hopefully this will bring peace to Greece. Oh, wait, nope. We got Philip of Macedon. He's coming down from the north. Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, that will, uh, well, that means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time on the battlefield.